In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the shortcode generator, which is a new feature in Agility 1.1. So whenever you create a new page or post or portfolio item, you'll come to the post edit screen and you'll see there's a new button in the editor that has this little lightning bolt on it. And uh, the same in the HTML editor, you'll see there's a new shortcodes button. And they work the same in both editors. So if we could click Add Shortcode, you see the list of shortcodes that you can add, as well as a list of column shortcodes. So let's start off by adding a tagline. Once you click the shortcode that you want to add, you'll see this window pop up where you can configure the different attributes that you would enter into the shortcode. So we're going to keep the Fluron on, and we're just going to give this tagline some content. And you'll see that as you change these, you'll, you'll be able to see what the shortcode looks like. It'll update dynamically here. You'll also see that when you have the default value selected, that attribute won't be displayed. So by default, the Fluron is on. So that excludes that attribute just to save you some text. So once you've got it the way you want, hit Insert. It'll pop it right into your page or post or whatever there. Let's uh, publish this page quickly so we can take a look at how it'll, what it'll look like. So you can see there's our shortcode. Uh, there's our shortcode which creates a tagline. So uh, next, let's uh, just do it in the HTML editor this time just for the heck of it. We'll uh, create a button. Let's make it red. Uh, let's make it large and full width and uh, we'll link it to Google. Uh, we can choose whether or not we want it to be an anchor or a button and whether we want it to open in a new window. And we'll, then we actually give it the button text. Once we've got it the way we want, we hit insert. Pops in right there. We can update our page, and there's a button. That is indeed a big button. So uh, you'll see there's all these different ones we can add. Uh, we can add a map. Here we'll leave all the defaults and we'll just uh, give it Paris. Refresh our page, and there's Paris. Uh, you'll also see that if you add a uh, portfolio or a slider, it'll give you the option of all the portfolios that you've created in the portfolio constructor. So let's make a three column portfolio. Is our portfolio. Oh, if you end up like this, uh, that means that the uh, auto p, the auto paragraph uh, filter from WordPress is messing with your shortcodes, um, which is really frustrating. But the simple fix is to just wrap anything that happens to in this raw shortcode. Okay. Then once we update, you see that everything's aligned the way we're expecting it to be. Uh, but you might need to add in a little extra markup here to separate things out. Well, uh, if I had added that in the HTML editor, it would have worked great. So we can also add um, columns shortcodes. So for example, if we want a uh, one and a half, now remember to click, if it's the first one, you have to click this start row alpha. And then I'm going to add a few more quickly. Here's a one fourth that's not the first or the last. And we'll add one more one fourth, which ends the row. Now we'll update the page. And there are our columns, just highlighted for demo.